All right, welcome, friends. We're playing Super Liminal. What is this? Not a horror game, believe it or not. It kind of looks like it could be one. Uh, it's a puzzle game. Uh, it's a puzzle game based around perspective, I believe. Where basically, like, the size of objects changes based on how you perceive them. Or something like that. I don't know. It came out a couple years ago. I've seen a few, like, GIFs of it, and it seemed cool. Never played it, though. So, I was in a puzzle mood, and now we're gonna play it. Let's do it. How is there multiplayer? Why would there be multiplayer? Whatever. Options? I, I think it's good. This is, this is a nice volume. Alright, new game. Are Whoa. you filled with feelings of self-doubt? Do you find yourself prone to minimizing massive dilemmas? Or for allowing the smallest problems to get blown completely out of proportion? At the Pierce Institute, our patent pending somnus okay. technology <laughs> I don't know what I expected, but it was not this. ...and effective dream therapy while you rest in the comfort of our flagship clinic. Located right next to the secondary overflow parking lot at the University Medical Center. Somnuscult will make your dreams come true. Mm. Well, that was fun. Wow. Sick dev art, dude. Terms of service. Oh, I signed it. I, I wanted to read it. Okay, let's be real. No, I didn't. I thought I was supposed to pick it up, though. <laughs> it's probably fine. What could have possibly gone wrong? Perception is reality. Grab. I have grabbed. Oh, it's bigger now. Yeah, see? And that's out. And that's pretty much the whole game. I can't, like, bring it closer or further away from me, though. I guess that's small? Yeah. And I guess that's bigger. Oh, this, this is a little trippy. Oh, man. Okay. Whoa. Very trippy. Terms of service accepted. Congratulations on falling asleep. Okay, welcome yeah, to you're Somnascope. Welcome, Gladys. Your progress may be monitored by qualified specialists. This orientation mm. will adapt you to eyelids, our interactive, lucid induction dream state in which you retain full consciousness and control. Mm-hmm. Your grandfather moved thinking five dollars. Hold right click to rotate. Mm. I can only rotate left and right. Not um uh, not up and down. This is apparently a roughly two to three hour game. Oh I see. Okay. Okay. I'm uh I'm curious how much you can really do with this concept. We will see. Funky mirror? Funky mirror. No objects beyond this point. Okay, it's like a force field. Gotcha. Okay, yeah. Definitely extremely portal vibes. Oh, can I grab it through? I sure can. So I just have, like, infinite reach, basically. Oh, <laughs> okay, this guy, a little tiny. There, there we go. I, I guess you just do that over and over again. Like, that's where it gets a little funky to me. 
Like, I, I, I just spam do this until we're, we're good. I guess so. Confirmed. You can move freely, interact with surrounding objects, and listen to messages from your patient what? care team. Please note that I am the standard orientation protocol, and that my voice has been explicitly chosen to remind you that I am not a part of your patient care team. So if I'm looking at it care. from the right perspective, I can pick it up? Oh, no. Okay. I'm taking the paint with me. Never mind. Sorry, Mr. Paint. It was actually an object at first, I just missed the wow effect. Oh, I blew it. My fault. <gasps> it still doesn't fit. My god. Is he stupid? Oh, I see. Oh, I see. I need a big cheese wheel. How do we... There's gotta be a more efficient way to be doing this. <laughs> Become big! Bigger! Big. Again. During eyelids, you will lose the ability to awaken suddenly due to realizing that this is a dream. Evidence, I have already informed you that this is a dream. You did not wake up. Please complete the remaining orientation activities. Yes, ma'am. Dude, the, the pickup and drop sound effect sounds like when you get shit in Stardew Valley. It's, it's really sad as well. Big fan. Dream soda! Warning. You have deviated from the orientation pathway. At the Pierce Institute, patient safety is a keynote in our corporate priority tetrahedron. A variable degree of force can and will be authorized Did to I have ensure a choice? patient safety. Please return to the orientation pathway. Oh, I did. My fault, man. My fault. My fault. My fault. My fault. I'm not a rule breaker. Oh, that was over there. Please use other door. Oh. Okay, that's a classic moment of, let me check the side path. Oh, this might be the main path. Let me check the other path. Oh, no, this is the main path. Let me go back to the side path. Oh, I was basically at the end anyway. Every fucking time. Why is the vent sideways? Oh, it's busted open. Okay, duh. Obviously, nine sec. I can pick up glass? Oh no, I thought I saw the cursor light up. What the heck's in there? A button. I wonder what I gotta do. I gotta put the shit on the button. He's gotta be small though. But that's far away. But when I put things far away, they get big. Okay, this is a learning moment. I'm stuck. <laughs> okay, uh.
Perspective is reality. Go! What? The fucking day. I mean, I can't, like, uh, make you go further or not further. Ooh. I can't even toss it. I must be thinking about this wrong. Is he stupid? That's the question we're all here to answer today. Like what? Can I like break the glass? I don't think so. Mo. Fuck. Okay, I don't know why you guys are, like, acting like this is obvious. I don't know if this is exactly a, an obvious solution. I don't have that many tools at my disposal. I can't- I can't toss it. The button is there. Okay, if, if that was the intention for you to jump and then place it on the button, that's stupid. Okay, there is no way you guys can All think I'm stupid for not thinking about it. Because I was already system. looking at the thing! You I was already looking that way! Nascult, please provide a comprehensive, rational explanation in your post-procedural survey. Completed surveys may be eligible for a gift card. Gift card. Boom. Oh God, dude, I'm lost. Oh no. Is that the way I got through? I guess it is. Oh, well, I, I told you I was lost. Wait, no it's not! Shenanigans! Okay, well, that was pure accident.
Okay, that's stupid though because you can't grab the other signs. No, I, I, I don't like that. If you can't grab all the signs, you can't just make this one sign grabbable. No, that's stupid. Oh, do I need both press? I probably need both press. That Please sign stand was by for crooked. polite recognition on your completion I mean, that's better of the than song sculpt orientation. You did it. To maximize the time allotted for your therapeutic journey, please do not delay in proceeding through the final doorway as indicated. Hello? Box? No box. Cheese! Cheese. Oh. Right. Uh. Okay, why some signs? Fuck, <laughs> that's a tiny ass sign. I'm gonna lose that shit. Oh god. Hold on, let me take my last bite of protein. That's definitely more than one bite. Mm hmm. Ah, okay. I figured something like that would happen. Genius. Oh, 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 okay. That was just a dude. That was just a dude making the <laughs> sound effect. Very good. Ah! Rats. Three AM. It's bedtime, dude. Not wake up time. Actually, that's like two hours before bedtime, dude. Private. So soothing. <laughs> okay. Nice. 
Praise the Lord. Some doors are best left closed. So true. Is this one of the doors? Oh. Exit temporarily moved. Understandable. Very interesting game. Very, very interesting. Okay, I have an idea. I think I want to make a ramp to get in the middle rooms. I wish there was like a... Like, get objects further or closer to you, like, with the scroll wheel functionality. It would probably break the game, but I wish it was a thing. Build a ramp, please. Fuck. Like you guys, you guys understand the the, the goal here. Like, you smell what I'm attempting to do. Uh, wh what the fuck? Why did I just get, like, super air for a second there? I just got, like, a bounce. Right button rotate? Yeah, but I can only rotate on this axis, which feels weird. NSA National Stair Builders Association Okay Gaming Yo tunes Hello my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to talk to you about being special. So special, in fact, that we have no idea where you are. But not to worry, Weird intro to we're song. working okay. on it. Hey, yo, perspective? Any perceiver? Whoa! There we go. What is a smudge? Okay, that's definitely a perspective thing. Oh, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's uh the the table. It's a table. That didn't do anything. But it exists. And that's all that really matters. Oh, but the table will allow me to make the cube. 
There we go. And the cube has a staircase. Convenient. What? Like, okay, am I bad or it is getting the right perspective to like get things to be as big as you want them? A little bit jank. Like, you guys can say yes all day, but I honestly don't believe you. I think it's just a little bit jank, dude. suppose just grab my guy right come here guy perception is reality so it is Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'm just popping in to give you a quick update on where you are. We still don't know, but please keep moving forward, and hopefully you prefer frequent updates to being reminded that you are completely lost. So I am. And really likes its chessboard esque squares. Huh? They do be pretty helpful. See, like, I feel like if the game is based around perspective, they should be giving you tools to get your perspective right as much as possible, right? Because, like, there's not a crouch button. I obviously want to crouch so that I can be closer to this so it's bigger, but I can't. What's this? Become large. Oh God. Oh God. Oh no, 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 what's happening? Bro, I just want to make a big old cube on the space between me and that railing. Is that what you're supposed to do? I don't know, but it's what I want to do. It worked. Huzzah. Whoa. I want to go up there. I want to know what's going on up there. I feel like I should be able to stand on that electric box.
Find the nook. I'm a nook finder. What is this cube? I think it's just a cube. Okay. Fuck you, bro. Ooh. The great outdoors. What if I... I want to look over the roofs. Holy... Absolutely scammed. Very interesting. Okay, so we're not really outside then, huh? It's all part of the simulation. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and we still can't find you. But you should now have access to a series of elevators that should trigger your subconscious to gradually wake you up. Okay. You should also find a variety of emergency exit signs that should lead you to them. Will all of this work? Absolutely. Right. Okay, well the windows here are obviously bait. I mean, okay, obviously the game would kind of not function very well if you could just pick up whatever object you wanted. But also, it feels a little arbitrary as to what you can pick up. Okay, so I need a- I need an elevator. Find the Albanoric woman. If only it were so simple. What does it want from us here? I need to form an elevator via perspective and then pick it up or something. I don't know. I'm a figure outer, Chad. Okay. Don't want to tell me what to do. I'm gonna not look at you. If that's what I gotta do, that's what I gotta do. I'll just not look. Don't act like you guys walked into this room and then immediately, within seconds, solved the puzzle. Don't act like that. Incredible that with so many d d puzzle savants in the chat room, uh, not a single one of you bothers to stream the professional. 
to prove how quickly you solve all the puzzles. People will be really impressed by those skills. You know that, right, guys? To make a living off of that. Very, very real to blind speedrun puzzle skills. Got to think stupider. No. Not that stupid. Like, the, the windows have got to be open for a reason, right? Why are they open? They vaguely look like elevator doors, but not, not really. There's not even any objects I can interact with in the room. These four paintings are unique. Do they match the painting in the other room? I don't think they do. And yeah, no, this painting is is night. And these are are different times of day. But I I can't do anything. Obviously, the answer is just wall clip. Guys, why can't you just spam he doesn't know? Like a good little chat room. LBLJ, of course, of course. Getting hot, dude. I'm getting hot. The audio is not really that important for this game. I'm just gonna wear the headset like this. It has to be a perspective thing because there's nothing to interact with. But what the hell would the perspective be? Why is there a moon now? What? I was looking 
for that. Oh my, I just didn't look the one way that you can see the moon. Come here, you fucking moon. What the? It just has shit on it? What is this? The moon just has shit on it. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. What the? In the event that this elevator does not wake you up, please don't interact with anything. Okay, you can't tell me that the moon just having no some arbitrary objects on the back of it. For example, it is like a, a, the coolest way the to have done this puzzle. Can and immediately run away. Like, I feel like, it, okay, if you grab the moon and then there's like a moon-sized hole somewhere or a need for a ball that would, that would make more sense to me. So I'm not really sure what it wants to do with these objects. Besides maybe climb out of here. What did the radio say? I wasn't paying attention. He won't speak to me anymore. Okay. Insane tech. Let's go! Yeah! Now what? Can I pick up the party balls? Oh. Turned them off. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I don't know where I'm trying to go, though. All right, gamer mode back on. Well, listen to that wind. I just need to turn the disco balls off for some reason. What would that have accomplished, though? This is sus to me. I mean, it's a door. But I cannot walk through the door. Nor can I pick it up. I just hop over and mold. I guess we just turn these off. What? 
What is making the sound now? Get him there? Hello? Did it just fucking bug? <laughs> okay. Well, now there's no noise. <laughs> what is the next step in our journey? What do you want from us? Do I need to line up this door? I am confusion. What? Okay, well, I didn't. What? The hell does this mean? Is this important? So, like, this is what I'm saying, man. It, it, it's kind of turned into a find the interactable object game, right? Like, I know the game is about perspective. But I don't even know what I'm trying to perceive. Perceive these? Okay. Understandable. <laughs> I, 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 I turned off the disco balls. Do I go back? I feel like no. Is anything up here even important? Why is the sound there again?
fuck. Should I bring the moon back? Come here, moon. Okay, well now we're up here for good. What are your secrets, Mr. Moon? No, I don't understand. Like, I could bring everything up here if I wanted to, but I don't even know what I would accomplish with it. What the hell? Do I want to like turn it off and then go back down there and, and grab this? see shit fuck this is hard I don't understand the significance of the balls. Hello? The cat, she just likes me. Hi. Yeah. How far are you? Whoa! I'm at, um, ape. Ape still? At 90%. At 90? Yeah. I thought you were doing it at 70. Dude, I did it as early as I could. I don't understand why. Like, why our math was wrong. Oh no, it's at 70 because I needed... I needed something. I don't remember. Something happened. But it's and then you did other shit and you came back with more speed? Yeah, but it wasn't a, it wasn't that big of a difference. I, like, at that point, they're mm. all the same. Guys, look at the cat. The cat. That was Prince of Persia. It was fun. This is not Prince of Persia. <laughs> this can is super liminal. Hmm? Yeah. yeah, you can see the cat. Cat. 
Yes, isn't she? Oh. Really, you're so cute. Look at your face. Mm. Oh, sorry. You're good. <sighs> okay, what the hell? So, okay. When the lights are on... There's a sky. <laughs> that's, uh... That's all I got. Why would that matter, though? The moon is gone. Okay. But only if it's like up there. What the fuck? You have a feeling I've overthought this room? Bro, I don't even know what the room wants from me. It's unclear. I don't even know what I'm trying to figure out. I just need a door to go through. But I'm not the only one that doesn't understand. <laughs> this solution better be logical. I feel like it has to do with this door, because why the fuck is it here? God, my stupid W key's broken. Half the time I press it, I don't go anywhere. Why can't I place it? it? It won't let me place it? Well, that means you definitely gotta do something with this. Why the fuck can't I put? Oh, there we go. We did it. Right. And I did buy a new keyboard, thank you. It gets here next week. Which keyboard? Just the latest Black Widow. I'm a Razer. Keyboard and mouse enjoyer. What switches? Orange. Razor orange.
The open windows do kind of look like cat ears, don't they? Why won't the moon go back? What does it mean? Dude. I don't get I do, I don't get it. I don't even know what the objective is. It's gotta be to walk through that door, right? Where do we just climb over the fucking wall? I don't know. You can't. Why, why would I need to restart the level? I don't understand why that would help. Just do it. Restart level or checkpoint? Also, hold on. I forgot to turn off the Prince of Persia timer. Checkpoint? Okay. I'm here. Moon. Moon. Where did that go? What? Where did that go? That just fell off somewhere. That just fucking fell off somewhere. That's not my fault. What the fuck? That's so stupid. It just fell off somewhere, dude. Dude, I would love to see a clip of me, uh, like, Hello. My name fucking is Dr. it up. Dr. Glenn Pierce. In the event that this elevator does not wake you up, Please don't interact with anything that strikes you as psychologically significant, as we will no longer have any way of controlling it. For example, if you see your parents, please punch them in the face as hard as you can and immediately run away. Someone give me the clip, please. Please. I definitely did not knowingly drop a door somewhere.
This is an automated message for all patients who attempted to use an alternate pathway to access the next phase of Somnasculpt therapy, but who have become trapped in a dream state paradox instead. Your decisions imply okay, a failure okay, okay, of okay. orientation, we got the, which we reflects got the negatively on the standard we'll orientation protocol. We'll just wait for Lady you will to rectify up. this failure immediately. Oh god. Why is there a moon now? What? I was looking for that! Oh my, I just didn't look the one way that you can see the moon. Come here, you fucking moon. What the? It just oh, has dude. shit on it? Dude! You can't tell me that's my fault! You can't even tell that's what it was! Look I didn't even realize there were fucking the thing. That's just so unlucky. That is so unlucky, bro. Come on. Shit on it? <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, that's unbelievably bad luck. Okay. I picked it back up and made it larger, but it was turned around and blank. Okay, so you're saying that I never had the opportunity to see it as a door. Like... <laughs> yeah, obviously if I saw it as a door, I would know what to do. I didn't choose not to look at the prop suit. I had just gathered the thing and didn't even mean to pick something off the moon. I, I could not have even known how it functioned at that point in time. If I picked any object but that one off, tip, the average adult it would have been can only withstand three to five dreams per night. Once this threshold is eclipsed by entering more dreams, your mind will suffer an explosive mental Whoa. overload, reorienting you for the emergency exit protocol. Please subject yourself to explosive mental overload. No picky uppies? Very important that I do that to every single one. Don't question it. What the fuck? Whoa! 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 Okay. Well, this doesn't really have anything to do with perspective at all, I don't feel like. But I'll take it. A Please dub's note a dub. that a reluctance to volunteer for the risks associated with explosive mental overload implies a misunderstanding of all other solutions, all of which are far more traumatic and likelier to result in catastrophe. I am not capable of suboptimal suggestions. Please exit this dream as soon as possible. Works. 
Insano tech. Whoa! It works. of the mind i am here question is are we going up or are we going down also should i go that way or should i go uh, this way i pulled enough fire alarms yo let's go i can't go that way okay Well, it's 5 a.m. now. It's 3 a.m. earlier. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And despite touring the Waterfall Serenity Zone in the previous section you've just completed, you may still be experiencing feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt. Why do I feel like everything is going wrong, even when the sun is shining? Hurts my eyes. What? What did I get? <laughs> what, what the hell did I get? I just yoinked it. It's a thing, okay. Come with me, thing. You stay there. Well, there's lots of things. Okay, oh. Uh, oh. Oh. It's not a horror game, guys. Murder, 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 beans. Yo, can't wait for beans. That's gonna be a good day. Love bean day. Uh Oh boy. Well, oh. Okay, well the puzzle there was to just fucking walk around in the dark until something the good happened. Plants or door? Let's go for door. Diet. That's cute. That's cute. I like the die, 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 die. Diets. But who was playing? Plant was no one. Okay.
Still waiting on beans. Okay. Emergency generator this way. Classic. This looks like a Minecraft chunk that forgot to render. Oh, okay. Fuck. I don't know how I feel about all these puzzles. Like that one was like, I, I mean, it's about perspective still, but is it about perspective or is he just fumbling around in the dark until something happens? Like at the end of the day, right? Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to talk more about the feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt I mentioned before. Fine. You feel this way because you want the kind of happy life you see all around you. The kind you know everyone else is enjoying. And that's exactly why we're here to help. Lighting messes with perspective? Like, yes, I agree. I think there's definitely lighting perspective puzzles you could do that fit the theme. And, like, even that one there, like, it fits the theme. I just don't know if it's a very good puzzle to just walk around in the dark. Because there was no indication there would be a path forward. Which I guess is kind of the point, because like you had to change your perspective to see the path. But like, it's just... I don't know, something, something, something is missing there for me, personally. See, okay, like this, this makes more sense to me, right? Because it's like, okay, use your light source to see the shadows of objects that you pass. That, that makes, that makes more sense. Like, I feel like in that pit room, I guess it wouldn't have worked if the path was like right in front of you. Because then he would have never fallen down in the first place. I don't know. I liked that second light puzzle a lot more. Warning. That's you were advised saying. to subject yourself to explosive mental overload by descending into additional dreams, but have now descended into a dream within a dream instead, disorienting yourself even further. You are responsible for failing to make this crucial distinction. See, I mean, earlier I could just pry these off. Oh, I can take that. Then. It's a light source. Is that important? Yes, it is. Come on, little exit buddy. Can you go higher up there? I feel like you could.
Zulabo, thank you for the six months in advance. Sheesh. What a guy. Okay, there's nothing up there. I'm wasting my time. But there's something up there. There's not. Just move on. But what if there is? There totally is. Come on. This is going to be a massive waste of my time. And by extension, your time. For that, I apologize. I'm doing it anyway. God damn it. Dude, I wish it didn't write the objects whenever you pick them up. Is this a soul's puzzle game? Yes. This is the dark souls of perspective-based puzzle games. Oh! What? <gasps> there is a thing! I told you, I told you, I told you. Did you see? There was a blue guy. Blue guy. Neat. I am definitely not going to get the rest of those. But I'm glad we got that one. The sign was picky upable. I don't know if we actually need it though. Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, there's a thing up there. No, I see. Oh, I see. Thanks, red light. Did you know that unintentional multi-dream layering occurs in less than 1% of patients? This correlates strongly oh. with the 99% of patients nice who are able to follow simple instructions from the standard orientation oh, protocol. Yo, good night, Zokari. Thanks for hanging, dude. Idea.
I want roasted carrots, dude. Sounds yum. Give me the carrots. Okay, so we're painting shit. I guess that room is just for the vibes. Oh, wait. Excuse me? Come back! What in the world? Okay. Order longer freezer flaps. Six AM Six AM End of night one. Mr. Door. Come with me, bub. Never know when you need a green door, like right now. Boom. Genius. My beats to chill slash perceive to. I'm gonna crash the game. Why is that happening though? This is not normally. Oh. Oh, it must do different shit based on the song. Oh, I made a fucking mess. Got it. Attention, Dr. Pierce requires you to note the following risks of dream overexposure. Significant memory loss, both quantitative and qualitative. 
Hallucinations of dreaded or annoying objects. Whoa. Unrealistic Great. beliefs about the lengths of hallways and other side effects which have not yet been discovered or which cannot be understood. <laughs> That's one way to do it. Oh, our cursor's a little smiley man now. He's so happy. What? Let's go. Sad. Genius. Fucking a genius. Understanding the premise of the puzzle. Infinite Void. Yes. It, it fucked up my music. Hey! There we go. I need an apple here. The apples get blown away. That is what? what? Am I getting scammed? understand why I just couldn't just do that all the way up here. The fan has a bigger hitbox than it should. This is bullshit. Come on. Come on. Come on. There's no way in hell that is the intended solution. Whack. I mean, one would presume bigger apples are blown less, but I don't know if that's actually the case. Eh. Ah, 
not really. Got him over there, and now... <laughs> and now... Shit, fuck. It's okay, I wasn't really making any progress anyway. I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty lost on this one, won't lie. What the heck? Does the fan blow a different direction? I look at it differently somehow? I don't know how I would achieve that. the apples get smaller. No helpers. I'm a big man. I will solve this apple conundrum. Question my methods. They're too small to be blown. Drink zero, I think, of the 22 months. The fuck? Oh, jeez. This one's a real thinker.
How much, uh, how much game is left? Just, just rough estimate. Just so I'm aware of our timeline here. Half? Fuck. Can I roll it? Yes. Is this helpful? No. Not really. Look at that apple go. Good for him. Good for him. Oh god. Stop! Wait, why did that almost work? Go, my son. doesn't feel like a proper solution. No, the mechanics of the game have changed. I can't... I can't pick up the, the objects anymore. I just duplicate them, weirdly. think I agree with that solution. I don't agree, but it didn't, like... I don't agree. I feel like it's not really established that that's how that works. Because, like, it just looks like it spawns it next to the thing. The perspective. Like, yeah, I get it. It's technically perspective. That doesn't inherently mean that Warning. it's like a super Dr. great Pierce puzzle. Dr. Pierce is frantically submitting numerous spelling and grammar mistakes into the standard orientation I mean, it established protocol it in there, a desperate attempt to counsel like, you. Um, I, don't know, I have man. no subroutine to I don't correct know about these that errors, one, but I cannot compromise the integrity of the standard orientation protocol. 
It's you established with the cube. Was it? They would not make sense regardless. I don't remember it being. Is that what you're supposed to do? Could you not just like slurp it back and then walk through? Whatever, I did it the gamer way, I guess. Attention, Dr. Pierce continues to input significant errors. I will interpret his basic ideas. Hello, my introductions are redundant. I am a real doctor who went to doctor school. VR has never been a mistake. I can help you, but I also do not know how. Transmission ends. Hello, name is my Pierce Dr. Glenn. To the oh Somnusculpt Welcome Experience, team of your care leader, patient years 10 development. Conditions struggle you whatever with? Professional invention. Age science with This remix goes crazy. Seven AM. Well, at most it could go to eleven PM, I I guess. What did we start at? 12 a.m. It won't go that long, though. It definitely won't. I'm gonna go to 12 p.m. at most. Soda. Man. This reminds me of like the waiting room lobby at like a a spa. They definitely have exactly this music and this kind of like aesthetic around. Hello. My name is Hello. Dr. Glenn Pierce. This is a notification it's not a that you have reappeared on our monitoring system after a prolonged absence. Please continue to do whatever you did most recently, and discontinue whatever you were doing immediately prior to that. It could be, but it's not. Big house. I made the house too big, I think. Now we go out here, and then we uh we resize the house again. So that door to bigger, and then we can walk through that door. Got it. No thanks, pizza enjoyer.
Taking the radio with me. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. You know In what? I'm addition taking that radio to continuing with me and discontinuing, as mentioned earlier, I feel like bringing an object when you can always pays any off. Any unsettling experiences that you may have recently had, everything should have now reverted to being soothing and therapeutic. If this is not the case, you got may a great be receiving voice. this message in error. I've definitely heard that electricity sound before. That is a stock sound effect for sure. Oh, rip. Goodbye, radio. Why was it making weird noises? Whatever. Jenga! Yo, I fucking love Jenga. I see what's going on here. Whoa. Get him. Yeah. Boggers. Even after I lost really badly over Christmas? Lost Jenga? Really badly over Christmas? Did I tell that on stream? Yeah, I got I got last place in Jenga. Feels bad. In the uh, in the Aggie family tabletop game competition. Why can I grab specifically this window? I don't know, but I can. Neato. Me llamo! Scottish Jarn RFZ, thank you for five months. Showtime! Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And I'd like to read you my favorite inspirational quote by me. The worst thing you can do is focus on negativity. It won't spare you from the cage of death, the pain of disease, the cruelty of time, the cold shell of human nature, or the eventual loss of everything you've ever held dear. Whatever you do, don't focus on that. <laughs> Thank you, Glenn. He's very helpful. anything fun to do up here? No. And why could I... Uh... See now. Probably supposed to bring shit out from within this thing. There was a door on this. Okay, 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 and I gotta make the thing big enough to go through the door and get something in there and then use whatever I get in there to get up to the top one. That's the situation. Well, I don't, my God. Disaster. Whatever, good enough.
Ooh. Am I stupid? Does this help? Need to make it bigger. God damn it. I don't understand how this perspective helps with this. It must. Or, oh, oh, oh. No, I can't bring it out here. I'm gonna say, can I dupe the object by doing this? But, uh, no. Does the object lead to here now? It does. Uh, what the... I, I think I bugged the game. Whoa! Oh god. to restart <laughs> uh, I fuck something up there try that again Still not a full understander, though. I guess I want the house to be the right size so that I can get through this, because I couldn't get through this earlier. Jesus. Why did that become small? Shouldn't that have become big? Not big enough, though. Oh, 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 oh. Just put the bouncy castle on the thing, forehead. Genius! Hello, my name is Dr. Hello. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to thank you for triggering every single one of our 823 emergency protocols. This will assist us greatly in improving the system for future patients. Congratulations! Anyway, you're now headed in the right direction. And we should be able to initiate the emergency exit protocol shortly. Hooray! Is that the exit? I'm in a box! I'm in a box! I am in a box! Two doors. I need to presumably get up there. Are both of them just Yeah, they're they're connected. Okay.
I'm the man in the box. Who's that song by? Alice in Chains. Is that right? I'm gonna be honest, not a huge Alice in Chains fan. See, like, this would be so easy if I could just fucking go like, you know? Oh! What if? We just put one of the doors up there. By putting it on top of the other door. Bro, this fucking works. I mean, we had the right idea, I would say. Can I just put a small door in the keyhole? Doesn't seem like it. Well, maybe I can. I just put the small thing with keep hold this way. Oh Jesus. Okay, it it's up there. Do you think this one's big enough? Dear fucking God. What have I done? <laughs> I'm, I'm way too small. I'm microscopic. <laughs> oh no. Okay, okay, okay. The reset. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And I'd like to thank you for triggering every single one of our 823 emergency protocols. This oh, will assist buddy. us greatly in improving the system for future patients. Congratulations. Anyway, you're now headed in the right direction. And we should be able to initiate the emergency exit protocol shortly. Get in there. Is it in there? Oh, it's way in there. Fuck. It's it's like two in there, right? Like now I'm kind of stuck at an inconvenient size. I guess it doesn't matter as soon as I go through here. Yeah, there we go. Five to six dreams is the absolute limit. Let's see about that. Meeting for car- oh. There was a cat.
Oh, back to 3 a.m. Uh oh. Emergency exit protocol initiated. Please prepare to conclude your Somnasculpt experience in 10, 9, what? 8. Run! Error. Error logged by. Orientation protocol. Stand by for analysis. Okay, we're fine. Disregard. Error analysis complete. You are exhibiting signs consistent with an increase in fear, hopelessness, and frustration. This is inconceivable, as Somnasculpt therapy is proven to correlate with a decrease in these emotions. More. Hypothesis. Patient was improperly oriented. Conclusion. Impossible. Yeah. Impossible. Reformulating. Okay. If you say Improved so hypothesis. Patient requires additional Somnasculpt therapy. Conclusion. Emergency exit protocol cannot proceed. Emergency exit protocol has been emergency destroyed. <laughs> Boy. Instruction. Continue with Somnasculpt therapy indefinitely on an independent basis as all orientation resources have been exhausted. This concludes your standard orientation protocol. Goodbye. What? Okay. Son of a bitch. Let me out! Oh God. What? Whoa. Whoa. Okay. That was incredibly disorienting. Dude, Scarlet is asleep on my computer and she's chirping and rolling around. It's very cute. A classic case of I didn't know I could interact with that because it's never been interactable before. Wait! Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Thank you for completing the Somnusculpt Standard Orientation Protocol. Before you begin the first phase of therapy, I'd like to briefly describe the finite and fragile nature of the dream state. Yeah. Someone flipped the gravity switch in Mario Galaxy. Son of a bitch, dude. Flip that back. that way. Go, 
Wow, that actually worked, kind of, not really. Shit. Ah! Wow, what? Huh? How did I end up somewhere new? This is new, right? Oh, whatever. Of course, nothing is more challenging than the difficulty of changing perspective, of fundamentally altering your perceptions in a way that will enable you to face dire trial by fire scenarios with solutions that could not be found otherwise. <laughs> All right, cute, cute, very cute, very funny. Very funny. What is this? It's a staircase. Oh. Oh my. Music, though. Perception is not reality. Perception is not reality. Perception is not reality. Go left, and there's a door to the left. Go right, there's no door to the left. But I kind of need one to, to be there. So how do I get a door to be there? How am I getting it to switch in the first place? Ha! I switched it before, but I don't, I don't know what I did to cause that to happen. Like, I at least know what I want to do. I was fully expecting to just like walk through the wall, I'll be honest. And then that didn't happen.
the hell? Why? What, what did I do? How did I make that occur? How did I make that occur again? Whichever way you look first, the wall is there. But why? Okay. Interesting. I don't know how I feel about that puzzle. I don't really understand what that had to do with perspective. Different meanings to the word perspective, not as a visual thing. Okay, can you explain the meaning that makes sense with that puzzle? Meaning, whichever way you look first, the, the wall is there. I want the radio up there. How am I ever supposed to get to the radio? Oh, it's a blueprint. Uh, I've decided I don't give a shit about those. I'm moving on. Finally, while we respect the unique progress of every patient, you must understand that it is possible to completely exhaust your supply of dreams, thereby entering a state in which you will not be able to wake up, even with the help of triggering mechanisms. We've got to be near the end of this game. This is getting way too trippy. Perception is reality now.
Oh! Okay, I think I had to keep the arrow there. To, like, show that this is the right way to go. I, I think? Listen carefully for the sound of an alarm clock which will automatically play if you are approaching a destabilizing oh, dream weight. It was just long? Oh, well, that's... That's weird. My solution was cooler. Parking lot! Liminal space. Wall. 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 And wall. I like this one, this one's fun. This is highly I unusual. It appears you have entered the Somnasculpt Diagnostic Framework. Patients do not have access to this dream. Fascinating game. Uh, good. Diagnostic warning. Unrealistic use of dream objects may result in dream integrity fail state state states. Get bigger. Bigger. What the fuck? What's my objective here? Go there. Get smaller. Well, the garage is small now. Okay, so it's... Hold on. Is this open still? Oh yeah, it is. Okay. Jam. I don't know what the hell I'm trying to do though. Not a damn clue. I thought I was gonna go into one of the other buildings, but I guess not. Paradox prevention protocols may not be fully implemented. Implemented. Got 
gotta put the building on the building. Oh god. Put the building inside its own room? I just made myself the most inconvenient possible size for this. So let's restart. This is highly unusual. It appears you have entered the Sonasculpt Diagnostic Framework. Patients do not have access to this dream. How did I get the brick wall to go? Diagnostic warning. Unrealistic use of dream objects may result in dream integrity fail state state states. Please paradox from yeah. any refrain. Yeah, but I did it. Explosive dream overload. 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 Oh god. Overload. I've broken everything. Back to bed. Please for the vote for Rick Team Explosion. Shit, they took my bed. Ask an illusion dream over coffee frame frame. The light! This is like when Squidward goes through the time machine and gets stuck in the white dimension. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and many years ago, I had a dream. I found myself in a place where I understood that each of us begins as nothing where everything I perceived was shaped by seeing it exactly the way I wanted to. White space. That's actually really pretty. This is a good vibe room. This one's less pretty. <laughs> Dude, I'm a genius. Impressed that I figured that out, huh? Not shot. The shadow dimension. What?
Pinsen. But in white space, I also faced the greatest challenge I could imagine. Because with a lifetime of life itself behind me, and all of the weight that it carried, I realized that seeing things the way I wanted to was not as easy as it used to be. Yes. This is a very surreal experience. Okay. How many times is that gonna happen? <laughs> I'm over that gag. Enough of the fall through the floor. Oh my god, we're in the France room. table for it yeah what yeah Scar? Bye. Bye. When you enter. Yeah. I'm lost on this one. Two red pillars, a blue pillar, a yellow pillar. Does it mean anything? I like the fact that there's two red. It means something. <laughs> I'm just thinking maybe keep them off screen as you go through, so that you can no longer perceive what like door you're entering and exiting. Doesn't seem to be the solution.
Oh man, I'm so lost here. I don't have a clue what I need to do. I can't interact with anything. As far as I'm aware. asshole. Jesus Christ. I already did this puzzle like four times in a row. I swear I tried to walk through the wall. You're well beyond dreaming now and further out than anyone has ever come back from. But we hope that you won't get discouraged. After all, if this is a place of pure perspective, isn't it also a place where a different point of view could make anything possible? Isn't that why you came here? Since there's objects resting on here, I can walk on it because now I perceive it as being a floor. Yes. Definitely yes. Neat. This game must have been hell to program, dude. My god. Oh! Oh! I can't walk through this door. It's just a bunch of if statements. You know what? You're so right, Pizza Bush. You've solved it. If chess piece on floor, floor real. Yep. Everything in this game is exactly that simple. You were so smart.
Can I put the block through this? Yes, and if the block's on the other side, then I can be on the other side. Yes. I don't know if I like that one as much because like the implication of this being a doorway kind of implies that there's floor on the other side already, you know? Like, I didn't need something on the ground out there for that perspective to be correct. What? I mean, it builds on the previous puzzle. I just don't feel like that one was as makey sensible. Whatever direction I look is the direction I go. Unless it's not. Oh god. No, I think it's just a bunch of funky floor. Yeah. Bitrate killer, I bet. I bet. Whoa. We're in the alarm clock. We're going back up through the dream levels to reality. Your life will always be a struggle, and you will always have problems. Maybe definitely are. But today, you have the chance to see things differently. Even though it meant facing obstacles that seemed impossible at first, you thought outside the box, and you overcame them. Because you saw things from every angle, you understood them for what they really were. Because you kept moving forward, no matter how far off the path you were told oh, okay. you were headed, or how unexpected it became, you found your way. I was too fast. My fault, my fault.
few minutes, you'll be back in the real world. And some part of you will say that none of this was real. So how could it have really meant anything? But just like the power of perspective itself, it will have been as real as you believed it to be. All you've got to do is wait. neat man that was pretty friggin neat super liminal I think presentation wise and, and theming wise it was really cool I didn't love every single puzzle in the game though some of them felt a little silly but overall very cool very cool Ooh. I'll give it an 8 out of 10 I don't think it's my favorite puzzle game of all time but it was neat it's certainly a unique experience I don't know what my favorite puzzle game of all time is. But this feels like it ain't. I don't know. I just make up my ratings on the spot, honestly. There's no rhyme or reason to them. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. A little variety gaming that wasn't indie horror for once. I like that a lot. We might have to do more stuff like this. I think puzzle games are really, really neat. And this is like the perfect length for one. I, I, I really like like two to three hour complete experiences. So, if you guys know of any other puzzle games of about that time length, I would love to check them out. They don't have to be all philosophical like this one. They can be simple games as well. It's just fun to, uh, you know, to puzzle anyway that'll do for today again i hope you enjoyed it and uh yeah we'll see you next time peace